Children of him who on every shore rolls round the earth his unslumbering waters, observe me and gaze at the fetters that coop me so high to this fanged chasm. Never may Zeus who fosters the world in his might collide in his will against mine. Never by word may I trespass. This mind be mine forever and never grow faint. It is sweeter to linger long through a life bright with confident hopes. But you make me shudder. Racked by an infinite tortures none can number. Refusing to bow before Zeus. Deliberately honoring man to excess. Oh, Prometheus. Foreseen and settled long ago. of the future I foresee, and nothing of my agony can come as a surprise. Let me speak of the miseries of men, helpless children, till I gave them sense and ways to think. Though I do not mention man through any blame, but only to unfold the love with which I gave. Like huddled shapes in dreams, they used to drag their long lives through confusing awe. Until I showed the stars to them, their rising and their set. And numbers too I found them, the key to sciences. letters in their synthesis, secret of all memory, sweet mother of the arts. I was the first to break beasts to the yoke, and I was the one, none other, to invent the seaman's ocean roaming chariots with linen wings. The whole truth in a sentence, if you want it short, is Every art to man Prometheus brought. Now do you see, my friend, the disgrace of your graces? Where is their help? Where any stay in beings of a day? Did you see the pitiful strength of their weaknesses? A dream in which men go, blind generation of the shackled, with never a breakthrough by mortals of Zeus's riveted system. gave them fire. Fire with its eye of flame. Do the day beings have that now? Yes. 
and shall learn a thousand arts from it. Studied sin is shame to a man who's wise. I knew it well, unwillingly. By my own free will, I sin. Here I am caught beneath this yoke, compelled. I, the one who snared within a fennel stalk the source of fire. Man's great teacher of the arts, his universal boon. This is the sin for which I pay the price. Clamped beneath the naked sky and shackled here. I am not one when fortune strikes to want the whole world stricken too. Pain. Fear. Anger. Hate. Violence. But now you must not succor men beyond all merit. Careless of your own sad state. For still I think that from these claims you shall be loosed. Not weaker by one whit than Zeus. Ten thousand pangs and agonies must bend me before I shall have shaken off these chains which pen me. Necessity has twice the strength of artifice. Controller of necessity. Three personed fate and the unforgetting furies. Surely Zeus is not less strong than they. He is. At least he cannot dodge what is ordained. You need your own forethinker now to pry you free. So let the lightning fork and coil about my head. Let thunder rip the sky. Wild winds stampede and wreck. A hurricane to rock the rooted world from its pedestal. Let sea waves slash their tide across the path of stars. Let him fling my carcass deep where the sterile eddy stirs of Ananke's spell. He shall not kill me still. Oh, wise are the ones who bow before the absolute. Bow down, adore and cringe before each ruler of the day. For me, your Zeus is less than naught. So let him play at what he wants, and lord it for his little day. His time for ruling gods is short. Pain, anguish, 
fear, anger, hate, violence. What he must suffer, I am willing. Did you see the pitiful strength of their weaknesses? A dream in which men go, blind generation of the shackled, with never a breakthrough by mortals of Zeus's riveted system. Are you here to gaze and grieve with me so full of wounds? Forget it now, and don't concern yourself. Do what you will. You won't win him. Be careful not to hurt yourself. Be careful not to hurt yourself.